in this video we will discuss about lesson number six the introduction to scratch programming the first topic that we will discuss is program a program is a set of instructions given to the computer to perform any specific task or particular task a program is a set of instructions or we can say sequence of instructions Okay, here should be instructions instead of okay instructions programs a set of instructions or sequence of instructions okay uh, actions given to computer to perform any task Now the set of instructions means uh, the sequence of steps that we will tell to the computer to perform that task. Since computer doesn't work on its own, we have to instruct the computer by giving instructions using keyboard or mouse to perform any task. So that set of instructions which we give to computer that is known as program. The second term is programmer. The person who create programs okay is known as programmer okay the person who create programs who creates okay who creates or we can say who writes the programs is known as known as programmer and the language okay and the language uh, in which the programs are written or created uh, that is known as programming language just Hindi is a language okay English is a language similarly to communicate with the computer we need a computer language and the language in which we communicate with the computer okay the, the language the language okay the language that is used to write to write or we can say or create okay the other night I was using write they are used to create create okay programs the language that is okay that is used is to create programs is called computer okay it's known as programming language okay it is known as programming language it is known as programming language just like in the English languages okay we are able to communicate with a computer similarly with the help of computer programming languages we are able to communicate with the computer if we want the computer to perform the task according to our needs then we have to instruct the computer in the computer programming language using computer programming language so we will discuss one programming language in this chapter and name of that language is scratch scratch is a computer programming language uh, with the help of this computer programming language we will be able to create interactive stories animations games uh, music even art art means pictures okay related to okay <coughs> animated pictures we can say okay 
the more rather than having static pictures okay so now let us uh, discuss how to start scratch after installing scratch okay and that is scratch 2.0 on the screen you will be able to see this icon scratch 2 on since in my system computer system i have already inst installed scratch 2 2 is the version of scratch the latest version of scratch is scratch 3.0 so this is the icon application icon of scratch 2 so i will double click over it to open the scratch application window so this is the interface or this is how the scratch application windows look like now let us discuss few components of this scratch application window the first component is this cat that is present on this area the white area this cat picture or the graphic character is known as sprite okay this is this picture is known as sprite okay this is known as sprite we call it sprite so we can insert multiple sprites okay we can add more than one sprite in our scratch program in our scratch program how to create program we will discuss first of all let us get familiar with this the parts of this application window so this picture which is it is called sprite and we can have multiple sprites okay we can have multiple sprites in a scratch program and by default by default means already one sprite is there that is cat next topic is stage this white area where this cat or the sprite is present this is called stage this white area this entire white area is known as stage now to understand this stage okay <coughs> we will understand one more topic that is known as graph that is related to mathematics on stage the sprites perform actions okay sprite we can move this sprite on this area on the stage if we want if we want that this sprite should perform certain actions okay then we can make the sprite to perform certain actions by creating scratch program we will discuss how to create scratch program okay so and we can create animated stories okay we can create games okay by creating scratch programs so let us understand that how this stage work so this stage is represented in a graphical format okay in the form of graph let me show you how the graph look likes i'm going to this the delete this sprite for the timing okay and i will insert here the picture of graph so that i will sh sh we can understand that how graph look likes this is the picture of graph okay usually in your hard page these square boxes will be little smaller but uh, okay to understand okay the graph you can okay this is how the graph look likes <coughs> so let me explain a little bit of about this graph so that we can understand that about the stage that how stage works okay so this one okay uh, this the line that is at a center this horizontal line this is called y axis uh, this sorry vertical line is called y axis and this horizontal line is called x axis of the graph okay this horizontal line is called 
x axis okay your mathematics teacher will teach you okay in mathematics subject about graphs okay graphs are used to represent data in a picture form okay in the form of pictures okay in pictorial representation if you represent to data we can represent in a graphical form using graphs so this is y axis okay this vertical axis is y axis and this horizontal axis is called x axis at the center okay where these two <coughs> lines are meeting the meeting point at the center of this okay this this is called origin this is called this point the blue point the center where these two lines are meeting this is called origin at origin <coughs> the value okay look at this okay as i am moving the my mouse pointer over the stage around the stage you look at this corner here x and y this what are these x and y x and y are the coordinates okay here x is x and y okay x and y are what they are known as they are called as coordinates x and y are known as coordinates x and y are known as coordinates they are called as okay <coughs> coordinates we can see the coordinates of the stage here x okay you can see the value is changing as i am moving the mouse pointer this is x and this is y and this is the value these numbers are the values this is the value for x coordinate and this is the this value is changing as i am moving the my mouse pointer so you can see the value of x coordinate is changing okay so x and y are what coordinates and what is x x is the x means x axis okay when value of x is whenever i am moving the mouse pointer you can see the values of x and y are changing we can say the coordinates of x and y are changing okay or we can say the values of x and y coordinates are changing as we are moving the mouse pointer on the stage you can observe this area okay when i am moving when i am moving the mouse pointer around the stage so the values are changing okay so x and y values are changing okay why they are changing okay uh, we, we will be able to understand with the help of graph so this is the picture i have added one picture of graph and okay this horizontal axis is known as x axis and this vertical axis is known as y axis and this center point okay this center point is known as origin at this center point where this blue dot is present okay the value of x is at this point the value of x is 0 and y is 0 y is 0 y is 0 and this point okay where the value of x is 0 as well as y is also 0 okay y is also 0 that is called origin okay this is called origin origin this is called origin this where okay value of x is 0 and y is also 0 the center okay this one let me bring it at the center a little bit so that i can show you taking a little bit of time but yes you can see now x value is 0 you look at the top uh, bottom uh, right sorry bottom right corner of the stage mm, value of x is 0 and y is 3 okay but uh, if i exactly bring my mouse pointer over the center of this circle okay then value will be definitely 0 0 okay why it is 2 because at that point where i am placing placing the mouse pointer okay there it is 0 y is 0 x is 2 yes mm. yeah i think somewhere here it is 0 by 0 well, i'm going to place my mouse pointer on 0 0 basically mm. 
mm, it's the divisions are very small yes so i got 0 0 okay you, if you rewind your video you can watch that we have got the value of x and y as 0 0 so where we are getting the value of x and y 0 0 that is that point is known as origin okay i am quite close but i am unable to place the mouse pointer exactly at origin okay because it is okay it is made up small dots yeah, yes okay again we got 0 0 but okay you can rewind it we have i have sh we have got 0 0 three times if you observe this area okay uh, at center the values are 0 and 0 the value of x is 0 and y is also 0 and this point where the value of x is now you can see here okay i think accidentally i got it and yes okay accidentally i placed at 0 at 0 0 i got the bingo accidentally okay but because the divisions are very small okay quite close to it but yeah unable to place it exactly at zero so at this point okay center point is zero zero basically okay <coughs> that is origin okay where two lines intersect exactly so you can rewind okay the video in between somewhere okay we are getting zero and zero okay i got three times zero zero okay maybe three two or three times okay i am unable to place it properly otherwise you can see x is 0 and y is 3 if i y if i bring it down a little bit okay it, y will be 0 and then okay again we got somewhere x 0 yes exactly mouse is no okay i think you got the idea that at center they will be 0 and 0 okay 0 0 so that is origin <coughs> that is origin now uh, this x axis is divided into two parts because of this origin this is okay on this right hand side all the values will be positive okay when you will study in mathematics okay your mathematics teacher will teach you here at this point okay we are okay at this point okay at this point this is one okay here here will be it will be let me use here different color So, at this center point here value is 1, okay, here will be 2, where these two lines are intersecting, here will be 3, okay, here will be 4, the positive values will be there and on this side we, ha we will have negative values, minus 1, minus 2, okay, minus 3, here will be minus 2, and here will be minus 3 and so on okay on this side minus 4 minus 6 minus 5 so on and then this above here we will have positive values for y axis 1 2 3 and 4 okay this is how um, the values are represented on x axis and y axis okay these are called divisions okay different divisions of x axis and y axis to plot the values okay so in this way we can plot now on this side of x axis we will have the positive values and on this side of y axis positive values and on this side of x axis x axis negative and on this side of y axis negative now look observe this area if i am moving okay if i am moving my mouse pointer in this area only in this area okay look at these two lines so value of x axis on this side is positive as well as on this side is positive so in this entire area okay the value of x and y is positive you can see here as i am moving the mouse pointer throughout the area around this area okay value x is also positive and y is also positive so in this area all the values okay in this area all the values all the values let me increase its size a little bit so in this area of the stage okay this area of the stage okay value all the values all the values okay values 
whether of x coordinate or y coordinate okay are positive positive okay you can see whenever i am moving the mouse pointer okay the values values is okay values are changing okay in this area only in this area in this area not outside this area okay so you can see here no, both value of x and y is positive okay but if you bring the mouse pointer in this area this area okay below this one <clears throat> so here you can see value of x is positive but value of y okay y is minus 92 minus 90 okay so y is negative this means in this area y because x axis on this side is positive and y axis represent negative values here minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 okay so here <clears throat> in this area okay here in this area the value of x coordinate okay will be x will be positive all the values will be positive positive and value of y okay value of y will be negative number okay negative number negative look at here again let me show you again if i as i am moving the mouse pointer look at this area the numbers are changing positive 138 x for x all the numbers are positive but for y it is minus okay minus 70 minus 68 so this means the value of x coordinate will be positive and value of y will be negative remember this we have to understand the stage that how stage is divided okay and the, and the entire working of stage then we will be able to work with sprites properly to move around them around the stage so we have to understand uh, stage thoroughly okay because we will not be uh, if we don't understand that how stage works then we will not be able to move sprites properly around the stage okay and we will not be able to create wonderful scratch projects or the programs <coughs> and in this area okay the third area the value of okay value of x look at this part of the this side of the x axis the values are negative and on y axis again downwards you can see values are negative so here the value of x will be negative all the values of x will be negative and all the values of y will be also negative now let me show you practically i'll observe here again as i am moving my mouse pointer only in this area okay so you can see here observe here in this area x and y coordinates value of x is also negative and y is also negative okay x is minus 76 y is minus 77 okay if i'm moving other okay anywhere other <coughs> okay anywhere else in this area so you can see minus 184 and minus 148 so in this area of the stage okay all the um, values of x and y are negative now look at the last one this portion of the stage okay <coughs> on this portion of the stage okay uh, here value of x is negative well, okay all the values of x will be negative here and y will be positive why because this area is formed okay this area is formed by these two lines okay divided by this these two lines so the x axis you can see x axis are representing here negative numbers and on this side y axis are representing positive numbers okay so let me show you practically if i move the mouse or point over this area you can see observe this again this side the value of x is negative throughout the area Okay, wherever we are moving the mouse pointer it's remain negative only the value is changing minus 66 minus 118 but value of y is positive throughout this area okay value of y you can see 70 61 72 okay whenever i'm moving the 
mouse pointer in this area the values are changing x remains negative and y value remains positive so this okay will help you uh, for the smooth movement okay this understanding of uh, coordinates that in which area the value of x will be positive or negative whether both will be positive or whether one will be negative or both will be negative okay so in this area you can place okay you can move uh, the sprite from one uh, location to another location around the stage okay i will show you how at that time we will recall this okay i will so uh, under okay try to understand each and every okay uh, uh, these are areas are also known as quadrant okay in your mathematics teacher will teach you these areas for there are four quadrants okay these two lines or which are known as axes this is called x axis and y axis and uh, the these two horizont these two lines are dividing the graph into four quadrants okay this is first quadrant this is second this is third and this is fourth quadrant okay so you will discuss okay um, you will study this topic graphs okay in mathematics so your mathematics teacher will teach you properly again okay i have just given you a brief idea that uh, how the stage is divided and uh, so that it will be helpful for you to place the sprite on the stage properly and uh, to show the movements properly around the stage okay because definitely we can move the sprites around the stage okay we can show movements okay in sketch programming so we will discuss how to show movements in the upcoming topics now let us discuss next topic sprite list okay i am going to erase this for the time being and let us okay we will discuss it how what is this okay no need to worry for the time being let us understand the components sprite list so <coughs> where is this sprite list okay and um, where we find it this area okay where i'm moving the mouse pointer presently okay uh, this is called sprite list area okay this one this area now earlier here cat was present but i have deleted that okay now i'm going to close it okay and uh, i will open it again because okay i will show you how to add more sprites later on first of all let us begin with the basic concept so this is the sprite okay so by default there cat is a sprite and now we can see the cat okay here so this area this area we now here this sprite is present you can see the name of sprite beneath it sprite 1 every picture that we add here okay on the scratch program or actually we call it project okay scratch project okay so that we are going to create okay so <clears throat> then this we have we can add multiple pictures that are called sprites so this is sprite okay and name of this sprite is cat uh, sprite one and uh, this area this entire gray area is known as sprite list here if i add one more sprite okay then you will be able to see that sprite here i will show you how to add more sprites next is <coughs> presentation mode so this button okay at the left top corner of this stage okay this is called okay the presentation button okay um when if we click on this okay if we click on this icon okay this one then definitely you will be able to see your scratch stage on the full screen if i click over it we can see here on the full screen okay we can see the only stage of the scratch application window on the full screen so after completing the our project or our uh, scratch program if we want to see it okay on the full screen we can click on this presentation okay this button that is full screen okay to view the presentation uh, our scratch project on the full screen so i will click on this again you can see this is again there and we can switch back to okay the normal view that is this one scratch uh, application window okay this is the presentation mode or we can say the full view okay uh, view of the scratch screen or we can say stage rather than calling 
screen uh, screen okay full view uh, in the full screen we can view the stage and it is located remember at the top left okay corner of the stage next is cursor tools so these are the cursor tools four cursor tools are there first one is this that is duplicate second one is delete third one is grow and last one is shrink so let me show you the use of this du duplicate as it says duplicate so using this tool duplicate we can create duplicate copy of the sprite so how to create a duplicate i will click over it this tool is selected now your mouse pointer changed to a stamp shape icon and i have either i can click on this sprite or i can click on this one okay in the sprite list a uh, duplicate will be created if i click over it a duplicate is created you can see one more sprite is created okay added in the sprite list you can see a duplicate sprite is created in the sprite list if i want to sh show it on the stage i will press it and i will drag it over here okay i will press left mouse button and then drag it so you can see now there are two sprites this is sprite 1 okay and this is sprite 2 okay and as i am clicking over it you can see in the sprite list area okay sprite 1 is selected if i click over this you can see sprite 2 is selected now in this in this area that is called sprite list we have two sprites now okay now if i want to make one more copy I, either i can click on this also so you can see one more sprite is created a duplicate copy of that is sprite 3 so in this way we can create duplicate copies using this cursor tool that is duplicate next is delete if i want to delete i can use the caesar icon that is called delete cursor okay this is another cursor tool i will click over it with the help of left mouse button your mouse pointer will change to caesar icon and either we can click on the sprite that is available on the stage to delete it by pressing left mouse button you can see the sprite is deleted and one sprite is less now in the sprite list now again if i want to delete it let me show you again first we will click on this icon with the help of left mouse button that is delete cursor tool and either we can click on the sprite which is available on the stage or we can click the sprite that is available here in the sprite list area so i will click on this one so you can see the sprite is deleted from the sprite list as well as from the stage next is grow this is the third cursor tool grow if i click over it our mouse pointer will change to four headed arrow and to grow means to increase its size so if i press left mouse button once so you can see the size is increasing if i keep on pressing left mouse button again and again so size of the sprite will keep on increasing okay so next is shrink shrink means opposite of grow grow means to increase shrink means to decrease the size so if we want to decrease the size we will click on this tool cursor tool shrink and now you can see again inward arrows are pointing towards four arrows pointing towards inward direction now we will bring this mouse pointer over this and we will keep on clicking on the sprite to decrease the size of the sprite so in this way we can also decrease the size of sprite so we have discussed all cursor tools next is this one okay help this is okay uh, not a cursor tool this is a help block okay if we want to know about a particular block then okay so we can use this okay help block i will show you how to use it later on so for the time being let us discuss another next component of it uh, this application window that is sprite info pane so this is sprite cat and this is sprite list area that is sprite list where we are able to see all the sprites of the scratch project that we have added or created okay so in this sprite list okay area there is one sprite name of the sprite is sprite one and you can see blue color border around it this means this sprite is selected and you can see this eye icon at the top left corner if i click over it then this window will appear in the sprite okay list area this is called sprite info pane this is called sprite info pane in this sprite info pane what we can do we can change the name of the sprite 
okay let me show you again you can see here sp name of the sprite is sprite one if i click on i okay this is i icon so sprite info pane is available we can see sprite info pane and you can see the name of the sprite is here sprite one i can type here new name cat so we can rename okay we can give any name to the sprite and x and y are the coordinates okay uh, direction is 90 degree this means this cat is pointing towards okay his face is pointing towards 90 degree rotation okay these are the different rotation styles okay this is circular and this is linear and this is uh, to disable the rotation okay if you want to disable the rotation if we now you can see it is blue in color this means this is active this means this sprite will be able to rotate in any direction okay if i click on this second one now you can see it is active blue in color this means this sprite will not be able to rotate but it will be able to move only in left to right direction only in one direction either it can move left or right okay left to right but it will not be we will not be able to rotate this sprite if this second option is selected that is linear arrow okay this is circular arrow this is linear arrow so if we want only linear movement only left to right or up and down so we can use this option next is last one disable rotation if we select this one so we will not be able to rotate the sprite okay or it will be fixed okay uh, we will not be able to make any rotation so next is can player in drag okay so this option will be used okay uh, when okay uh, we are going to create a projects and in especially in games okay whether uh, a player can okay uh, drag or not okay so we will not use this one for the time being next is the show show means you can see here tick is placed okay tick is placed means uh, this sprite is visible but if i remove this tick by clicking left um, by clicking on it with the help of left mouse button you will see the sprite will disappear from the stage but if i click over it okay then you can see the sprite is appeared and a tick is placed okay so show if tick is not there sprite will not be visible if i place if i how will uh, how we will be able to place the tick by pressing left mouse by bringing the mouse pointer over it and pressing left mouse button over it once so you can see the sprite is again available on the stage so we can hide and show okay the sprite using this option that is show from the sprite info pane next is new sprite button okay so this is the new sprite okay uh, buttons there are four buttons first is choose sprite from library second one is paint new sprite and third one is upload sprite from file and last one is new sprite from camera sprite means the picture that is present on the sorry stage okay that is or the okay this, this is the sprite only one sprite is there if you want to add more pictures or more sprites rather than calling pictures then we can use these four options first option is choose sprite from library so let us discuss this one library means in scratch there are some built-in or predefined sprites okay pictures which we can use a, as a sprite so i will click over it with the help of left mouse button and a new window will appear that is sprite library library of sprites collection of sprites now we can insert or add any sprite okay out of these as per our project requirement you can see here by default all is selected okay uh, we can we will be able to see all the sprites here okay there is a scroll bar okay if we click over it and if we scroll it down okay we will be able to see the remaining sprites also and we can also uh, search the sprites according to the categories there are different categories like animal fantasy okay all the sprites are categorized under different categories if i click on letters so we will be able to see only the sprites of letters if i click on peoples okay we will have the the sprites related to the peoples if i click on dance the sprites related 
to the dance if i click on okay animals so in this category only animal sprites will be visible to you okay so if it depends upon you which sprite you want to insert i'm going to select this one beetle for the time being by pressing okay and then we will click on okay or either you can double click over it okay sprite will be inserted so so you can see now i have added one more sprite here we can and we can see here two sprites in the sprite list okay area now first first one is cat and second one is better okay so we can have multiple sprites i can add one more okay in a scratch project or in a program you, you can have okay you can add multiple sprites uh, depending upon your requirement of the scratch project next is next option is to paint if we want to paint a sprite ourselves we can also paint ourselves using this second option that is paint new sprite i will click over it this is the paint window that will appear on the right hand side and if i want to paint okay and i can paint okay uh, let us paint here so we can paint okay let us paint here a track okay a circular track okay suppose you are going to prepare a track for okay a uh, a uh, a game okay where car will move okay so you can prepare the track okay and i will use here color for to fill the color fill with color tool and we can fill color inside it okay and here we can fill the green color okay for green color green color grass to depict that this is the grass okay so in this way we can depict okay and we can add one more sprite of car that will move over this black region okay so it's just like a racing okay so i can decrease the size of this sprite okay using this shrink tool so that we can okay so we can add we can create ourselves sprites as per our requirement okay so so i have just created a circular track just like uh, you can see a running track where you can run okay this is the green portion the green grass and this is the track okay where you can either move cars or you can okay make a character a cat move in a circle okay so here i am using mouse but we will be able to do these things by creating scratch program okay so in this way we can create our self sprites you can see that sprite which i have created okay which is that is added here okay the, the sprite which we have created it is now available here in the sprite list okay so we can create as many as or we can create ourselves okay as many as sprites as per our project requirement next is we can if there is a picture in your computer already there is one okay picture in your computer that you have downloaded okay and uh, from internet or you have saved okay in your computer earlier so you can use this third option upload sprite from a file so you can click over it okay so this window will appear on your screen that is select files to upload so you can select the pictures in my case my pictures are here in the pictures option so i can insert any one okay so i will select this one so you can see now this okay i let me decrease the size of this a little bit okay so i have decreased the size of it and i have added one more sprite okay so you can add more pictures okay in your project using this option also that is upload sprite from a file if one picture file is already saved in your computer or you may have downloaded from internet in your computer then you can use this one next is third last sorry last option the last option is new sprite from camera if your computer is attached to camera okay uh, then it is attached with the camera okay then definitely you can use this option so you can click on this option and your camera will get turned on okay since my laptop is having the camera my computer is having the camera attached with it so you can see my okay picture and to click the photograph you will click on save okay and once you click on save you know, the sprite will be created and you can see the okay this picture is on the stage 
okay so you can uh, click the photograph okay you can uh, uh, rotate your camera okay if it is mobile camera to uh, any other picture okay that is available in the book or a notebook and you can also add that in your scratch project so that is also another way of adding pictures from camera next is block palette okay so this area which you are able to see where you can see the blue colors okay move turn okay these are known as blocks okay these are known as blocks and this area where these blocks are present okay these are known as these are move turn okay all these are what the names of blocks and uh, where they are present they are this is called block palette using these blocks we can show movement okay or we can change the appearance as well as okay you know, of the sprites and this area okay the green this area where i'm moving the mouse pointer presently this is called script area this is called script area this is called scripts area where we create the scratch program in scratch we uh, the pro the programs that we create we don't call them programs we call them scripts we call them scripts okay in scratch the program that we are going to, that we will create okay that definitely we are going to create we will create in the next okay video definitely so this area is a script area where we are going to create the scripts and script is what script is a uh, basically scratch program now how we will create the script by using by using these blocks okay the blocks these are the blocks collection of blocks using these blocks we are going to create the script okay by joining these blocks we will uh, instruct the okay sprite to perform a particular task okay step by step so at least we have to join two blocks to perform okay the movement okay more than two blocks and as i've told you this is the area where we will create the scratch programs or we can say script by using these blocks okay so these are the blocks of motion you can see this motion okay name over here okay motion is there it says motion and it is blue in color this means it is selected these are the different categories of blocks okay presently motion block is motion block category is selected and in the block palette area we are able to see the blocks of motion category if i click on looks so these are the blocks under looks category if i click on sound category so under sound category these are the blocks of sound category under pen category again there are certain blocks under data category okay there are two buttons we will discuss about these two buttons later on next is events under events category there are block palettes uh, sorry blocks okay and in the block palette area this is this entire area okay remember this this is called block palette and blocks are available in block palette area and if we select control block category so these are the blocks of control block category sensing block okay and these are the operator blocks and if we want to create ourselves more block okay then we can use these buttons that we will discuss later on so this cover ups uh, the common components the very basic components of scratch application window uh, 